Mixing multiple genres to create a unique sound against a backdrop of stars, music group Native Brains draws a bridge between improvised music and authentic Nigerian sounds at their concert right here in Lagos. More details now. Music group Native Brains, led by artist Michael Oloyade, performs a mix of pop, R&B, and jazz sounds, among others, to form their own Afrofusion music that is highly infused with the Yoruba language. Basically, Native Brain is it's a blend of Afrobeat and jazz, basically. So it adds lots of energetic rhythm, shakere, clef, the drum, drum style uh, playing of uh, the great Tony Allen and the likes. I'm a drummer personally, so I'm, uh, I'm actually into that kind of uh, drumming. So it's a blend of Afrobeat and improvised jazz music but with Yoruba lyrics. Yes, we do sing some English, some pop-oriented stuff, like the song we did tonight, Ishe Ishe Mukon, basically. So, but basically, our sound is Afrofusion. We don't want to call it Afrobeat because we're really not playing the classical Afrobeat, but it's an element of Afrobeat and element of jazz, and a little bit of pop uh, from the lyrical uh, angle, basically. <laughs> While the music of Native Brains dabbles with different sounds, Yoruba is a driving factor for most of their songs, and Oleyade says it will always be an integral part of his music because it will always be his native tongue. I'm Yoruba. I was born into Yoruba family. I grew up speaking Yoruba. Even in school, it was an English school, primary school, but the teachers back then you you, uh, you, you speak Yoruba. And at some point, uh, we made to understand speaking Yoruba was pidgin, was uh, was vernacular. I beg your pardon. They made us think, oh, speaking Yoruba was vernacular. And but as a matter of fact, there's lots of richness in our language and. Uh, there's no way I, there's a reason why I was born in Yoruba, born into this society. I could decide to run away from me and try to do maybe sing in English. There's nothing wrong in speaking in English, singing in English, doing song music in English. Uh, lingua fr uh, franca in Nigeria is English, so basically you are, you, are, you are allowed to do that. But there's lots of richness in Yoruba that it's unexplored. It's been explored up to certain generation and it, 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 it was altered due to the advent of uh, private media whereby there was no regulation on the kind of music you play. People were just playing English, hip-hop, Western music and it kind of eroded the music scene in Nigeria whereby if you don't, even in churches, uh, religious places, if you don't sing in English, they look at you, you're local, you're, you're, you're ras, you're not, you're not stylish and the likes. But the fact is, all the people who have made Nigeria proud, most of them, they speak in, they sing in their in the local diet, even people in other countries, Angeliki Joe for Benin Republic, most of her songs, yes, she speaks, sings in English, but she does a lot of Yoruba intonation. Why would I want to sound American when I'm not American? Yes, if I need to sound that way to communicate for them to hear me properly, I will do that, but I won't now change my identity just to, to be accepted. I have The 
concert, which was opened by soul singer Ola, gave the audience an opportunity to sample multiple genres of music that are not particularly mainstream in the Nigerian music industry. For me, I feel like there's there's play, there's there's a place for every kind of music in the Nigerian market. I mean, you're reaching out to different kind of people, so you know, it, we're mostly hearing music that's like jivey and Afrobeat and all of that. But there's there's times that people just need music that, you know goes out to them and so I remember there was a time I did like a survey when I was afraid of what I wanted to do and people kept saying um, open your playlist and let me see what you listen to it's not all going to be Afrobeat you want some soul music in there you want to listen to some Asha you want to listen to some Brian Moore you know you want to listen to some, something different why not we don't have one you know so yes yeah, so I know that definitely fits because we're humans and we have different um, there's different emotions and there's different music for every emotion actually most of the time so yeah the host describes the concert as an opportunity for the band to reconnect with music lovers after a tough year where the covid19 pandemic brought live music performances to a standstill Uh, not only for neighbor to friends but for any kind of band music it's really important to be in contact with an audience and uh, last uh, year and a half has been really tough on the public on the audience but also on the, the bands and the artists because they've been lacking this contact with the audience uh, we here have a, a limited capacity but still of 50 percent which is interesting you know uh, to to play around with, so I think Native Brands were really interested in uh, reconnecting with the public here. And uh, also the facility is quite well um, equipped, uh, they have a great equipment uh, for bands, so it's also really interesting, you know, for rehearsal, uh, video recording and um, practical, and so it's really interesting for bands, any kind of bands, to work here at Alliance Française, Mike and the Guest Center. So. Formerly known as NNB, Native Brains continue to find new and interesting ways to create good music while sticking to their roots, and this concert was just a taste.